A railroad's locomotive fleet is an ever-changing selection of power. Management is constantly evaluating new locomotive purchases, rebuilding existing power, and retiring older, less reliable units. New locomotive orders haven't slowed despite the introduction of the Tier 4 emissions technology and the temporary sidelining of EMD's domestic production while its Tier 4 freight locomotive was preparing for rollout in 2017. In EMD's absence, General Electric was busy building at its two shops in Erie, Pennsylvania and Fort Worth, Texas. Here are some highlights of the activity that was taking place on each Class 1 railroad roster, along with the top trending model on those railroads at the time. In 2015, the Norfolk Southern had met its power needs between rebuilding old locomotives and purchasing some new locomotives through the end of 2014, but only planned to rebuild in 2015 with no new power on the books for 2015. Major overhauling programs that involved several locomotive models continued at the back shops in Altoona, Pennsylvania and Roanoke, Virginia. Norfolk Southern's new locomotive of purchase, the GE ES44 AC. CSX Transportation had skipped new locomotive deliveries in 2014, but then had an expected 200 new GEs arriving before December. Rebuilding in-house had shifted to four-axle locomotives, while six-axle rebuilding moved to third-party companies. Their top model, the GE ES44 AC. The Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway was well into its aggressive multi-year plan of buying new power in 2015 and was focused squarely on the unique A1A trucked ES44 C4. With traffic softening during that time, it seemed like that may spell the end for older road locomotives as the company renewed its fleet. What we were expecting to see trackside was BNSF step up its rebuilding efforts of older AC traction units and upgrading of DC traction locomotives to AC. Their top model, the GE ES44 C4. But in addition to that, the BNSF also had SD45-2s for rebuilding into three GS21C six-axle gen sets or SD40-2Rs with 16-cylinder engines. The railroad also continued its multi-year program to upgrade its fleet of GP35s with Dash 3 electronics, converting them into GP39 Dash 3Rs. The Canadian National continued to make steady purchases of new GEs as it expanded usage of distributed power and AC traction in an effort to haul more tonnage on existing train schedules across its system. The CN shops were modifying and releasing second-hand locomotives the company purchased in recent years from various sources. Its semi-captive fleet of older second-generation locomotives in ore service on the former Bessemer and Lake Erie and Misabi properties had begun to change with the first Illinois Central SD70s assigned to the Bessemer and Lake Erie that year. Their top model, the GE ES44 AC. The Kansas City Southern and its south of the border subsidiary, the Kansas City Southern de Mexico, continued to buy new power from both GE and EMD. In 2015, the company was purchasing both GEs and EMDs that were restricted to Mexico because they were not Tier 4 certified. Older DC road locomotives continued to hold down secondary assignments. Their top model that year, the GE ES44 AC. The Union Pacific had long been a strong proponent of large orders of new power and continued the trend in 2015 with 150 new GEs on order. Its 500-unit fleet of SD40-2s at the time was cycling through the back shops in North Little Rock, Arkansas as part of a multi-year program to renew these trustworthy locomotives. They were beginning to be seen in almost every part of the Union Pacific system. Union Pacific has relocated the control stands in a number of GP60s and SD60s to a position more parallel to the cab wall, allowing for easier bi-directional operation when the units are in local service. UP called the modified units GP62s and SD62s, but their top locomotive model of purchase, the GE ES44 AC. Last on our list is the Canadian Pacific, who surprisingly during that time did not buy any new locomotives. Having put new locomotive purchases on hold after the 2012 arrival of CEO Hunter Harrison, CP showed no signs of change on the horizon. Instead, CP seemed satisfied to receive both four and six axle rebuilds from EMD with more SD30C-Ecos due in 2015, along with its top model that it purchased, the EMD GP20C-ECO.